Okay, so I'm back again. Wow, what opportunities we have, you know, to just be completely, totally honest. My last video was just raw honesty. And you know what? I'm not ashamed of it at this point. You know, I'm, ge I'm getting better. I still feel sick. But you know what is sickness? It's dis-ease, right? It's dis-ease. And all the shit in me is coming up. <laughs> so that I can address it, you know? And, you know, I, I, it's, it's amazing, you know, the grace, the grace of the universe, the grace of spirit, the grace of God, you know, the grace, whatever you call it. Because all day long, <laughs> I've come across information upon information upon information addressing where, where I've been, and especially in my last video, you know, because I've been working so hard. You know, and there's things that I just know, but, you know, somebody was talking about, um, well, they weren't using it in this context, but this is the context I, I took it in. Peter Pan, you know, Peter Pan was a forever boy, right? Just wanted to play, but he had a shadow and he, he, he avoided his shadow, right? And the world's in panic. Right? There's shit happening everywhere. The world's in panic. I panicked, you know. I panicked. But you know what? Thank God. Thank God that I could face what was really in me. And that's grief. It's grief. Of feeling separated. Not feeling one. You know, I... I'm different. I'm not like everybody else. I, I'm alien. <laughs> You know, and there's a grief in me. And every once in a while, I just lose it. You know, don't we all? Don't we all ever fucking lose it? Just lose it? And say all kinds of shit, you know? It's okay, man. It shows us where we're at. I get tired of doing all the spiritual, sh the spiritual shit, you know, and, and feeling like I'm not getting a result, but I am, I am. And you know what? And spirit shows me along the way, you know, I have this, these amazing synchronicities, but sometimes I just get tired and overwhelmed. And do you know why? Because I'm not having any fun. I'm not having any fun. When I feel a victory in a moment, in my home by myself, I turn around to high five and there ain't nobody there. <laughs> and not that I have to have somebody there every time, but you know what, once in a while, you know, there's, there's a, um, synergy when we come together, you know. I remember a couple years ago I went, um, I went to, uh, Sedona for the full moon on Cathedral Rock. Oh my God, it was the most amazing time. Just connecting with people, and dancing, and and frolicking, and you know, getting excited when the full moon came up. I need to do that again. So, in this video, if there's anybody in Arizona who would be willing to take this challenge to come get me in Mesa, Arizona, leave a message in the comments because you know my problem is is. My problem has been a lack of community, you know, and a lack of fun. But you know what? I'm stepping out. I'm asking for help, you know? Um, you know, I, when I'm having fun, there is nothing that bothers me. And I don't need a damn thing when I'm having fun. So, um, yeah, message me. If you're willing to, if you're willing to come get me so I can have some fun with you. And I know there's lots of you out there that know how to have fun. You know, like good fun. You know, like real fun. Like authentic fun. You know, those of you who, who connect yourself to the earth, you know, who understand, uh, 
who we are to some degree. You know, because this, it's what we do, our ego. You know, my ego's coming down. You know, it's coming up so I can deal with it and I can choose to deal with it or not deal with it. My ego blames, blames my family, blames people. You didn't, you know, uh, you should. Because you can't make somebody fucking love you. You can't make somebody give a shit. You can't make somebody grow. You know, if they're not ready yet, they're not ready. So, I'm calling my tribe, you know. God, I'm looking at myself here and I'm like, I'm still pretty sick. <laughs> but, but I am feeling a little better. You know, I was able to, to wash some dishes and get up out of bed for a little bit. You know. Man, what a horrible feeling. But you know what? It brought me to my knees. You know, to being honest. You know, we go up and down. There's no shame. You know, honestly, it's shame that's brought me to this place. But you know what? There's no shame in my being real. You know, being open and honest about my fits and my, you know, tantrums. I am a grown-up. You know, but I'm not trying to be a grown-up. I am grown-up, but I'm not trying to be a grown-up. I'm trying to be honest and raw about where I'm at, even when it's fucked up. <laughs> you know? So anyway. So anyway, um, challenge is up. If anybody's in Arizona... In the, you know, can, and if you're in Arizona, you know where Mesa is, uh, message me, you know, I'm going to be checking every day, because I need to go have some fun, you know, like good fun, not fucked up fun, good fun, you know, and those of you knows what I'm talking about, you know, you know what I'm talking about, um, anyways, thanks for allowing me to show rawly <laughs> in raw form you know ascending becoming the best version of ourselves you know we have to allow ourselves to grieve and to tell the truth about how we feel but we can't stay there right because we co-create you know and if we stay there then we will keep creating the same stupid shit we've been dealing with, right? So you gotta acknowledge it, you know, and do what it takes to transcend it. You know, we're here to transcend. Not to feel better. Not to feel better, but to transcend. Right? It just gets hard sometimes. And we should be having fun makes it easier anyway thanks again for listening to me <laughs> and I look forward to hearing from many of you here in Arizona Mwah. love you bye